In this lesson we learn how to create metal materials and how to approach creating metal materials in Maxwell. So let me select my scene and lock it and create a new Maxwell material and let's name it metal. Open it using your MXCD. Now in my opinion the best way to create metal material and to get started is using your material assistant. If you go to your metal section you get different presets and you get different metal IORs. So you can select the type of uh, IOR that you want, the metal that you want to create. For example now you want to create a chrome like material so let's select this uh, chromium. I can change my preview to this preview. Let me update it. And uh, as you can see, already I have a nice beautiful chrome material with a roughness of 30 here. I can reduce my roughness to something like 10, to something like 0. And now I have a perfectly mirror-like uh, chrome. And now if I wanted to go ahead and work on it and add some more items, I can simply convert it to advanced. And now I get my BSDF with all the controls. And as you can see, we have ND a bright amount a K uh, which is uh, perfect for Chrome and you really need to go ahead and find this while use uh, online or wherever you want so you can uh, increase the roughness if you want simply let's go ahead and increase the roughness and update the material and as you can see now we have a nice Chrome material let me just go ahead and reduce this value to something like 2 here and update it and that's our Chrome material so let's go ahead and save it and let's type in Chrome. Now let's go ahead and apply it to our abstract 3D object here. I'm going to apply it and start the fire. There we go. As you can see, we have our nice Chrome material. Now if I want to approach the same material uh, just without using any sort of a material assistant, let me create a new Maxwell material and open it using my MXED. So the first thing you need to create basically metal-like material is to uh, reduce your roughness. Let's go ahead and reduce it to something like 2 here. And then uh, if you have an exact ND or K value, you can put them here, you can go there and find out, but if you even don't want to use K for a lot of metal materials, you can go ahead and increase the ND or index of refraction to something, for example, for chrome is 30, so you're basically reducing the Fresnel effect significantly and making the material to reflect equally uh, on different viewing angles. And uh, if I go ahead and update it, I'm going to have a, something quite similar with what we had before. So that's about this. Let me just go ahead and actually disregard this and open it using my MXCD again. Now if I wanted to have a rougher chrome, I can simply go to my metals, uh, select the chromium, and as you can see the roughness is uh, 30. Let's just change our stage here and update it. And that's our rough chrome. I can convert it to advanced material. And as you can see, uh, this material is a bit different uh, from what we had when we didn't have roughness and the roughness was set to zero. Now we have a base BSDF and the specular BSDF. And as you can see, these two BSDF are pretty much similar in all their attributes, uh, except for the roughness. As you can see, this one is 15 and this one is 7.5. So when we're trying to create rougher materials, it's a good idea to have two BSDFs with the same exact settings but for the first one the roughness uh, would be a higher amount of the uh, second uh, BSDF as you can see here the roughness is 15 and for the specular the roughness is half of 15 which is 7.5 and we get a really realistic and nice chrome material I can go ahead and actually save this this is going to be our chrome this is going to be our chrome rough and let's go ahead and apply it and see what's going to happen. So that's our rough chrome. And let's create a new material and let's this time create a maybe a gold material. Let's create this is going to be gold. Open it using your MXED. And let's start with our metal here and change this to gold. And 
Let's just update this and see what we have here. We're going to update it. And we just need to define the right color here. I'm going to convert it to advanced first of all. Really, this is the approach when you want to create a metal material. Just go ahead and uh, go to your global properties and your material assistant. Uh, go to your metals, define the right uh, type of uh, metal that you want to create. For example, here is gold, convert it to advanced. Now you have the exact and the very right ND and K value for gold. And the only thing that remains here is to define reflectance 0 and reflectance 90 color. For example, for gold, maybe let's go to this color here. I'm just going to make it a tad brighter and more saturated. And for my reflectance 90, uh, I don't know, let's maybe use this color. And I'm just going to make it a bit more brighter. And let's do the same thing here too. So go to our specular layer and let's make it a bit saturated. And this was the color here. And there we go, we have our gold material and it was a fairly simple and always remember you can actually go ahead to your measured IRs and select a very exact IR file to define your material. Now let's go ahead and create a bit more uh, custom materials. I'm just going to start with this uh, basic Chrome. Let me just control and drag it and open it using my MXED. And so here is our base material. Let's create a bit a rougher version of this material. I'm going to something like 25 and update it change the stage again there we go now uh, what if I wanted to add some irregularity to my surface add some uh, for example um, for add some glossier part at some rougher part we can simply define a map for our roughness so let's go ahead and select the texture so let's use this texture here I'm going to open it and hit OK and let's update it I'm just going to increase the overall roughness here so we can see the effect much more better. And let's update it. Now we get this very rough type of material and we can use the same texture on our bump. Let's go ahead and reduce this wallet to something like maybe two here, update it again. And this is what you are gonna get. Even two is a bit too much maybe. Let's go to something like one here because bump is a very sensitive value and you get this very rough type of uh, material and um, metal and chrome here. We can duplicate this uh, BSDF if you want, if we wanted to and let's uh, go to the second one. Maybe we can decrease the overall roughness here on this one and let's uh, decrease the weight to something like 40 and update it again. And this is going to give us a a more realistic metal we can go ahead and save it let's go ahead and apply to our uh, object here and refresh our fire just let's make sure we have applied this material correctly and the texture is right just change the texture select this guy and select the texture tag that you have and let's go to cubic that would help and let's start the fire again. So as you can see, this is a bit more complex and advanced uh, metal and we did it by defining maps for our roughness and our bump values. So that's about it. And as I said, uh, creating uh, you know colored metals like copper or gold is just the matter of uh, changing the reflectance 0 and 90 color. So for example, if I wanted to create um, for example, copper, I simply can do that, open up your MXED. And as always, we can go to our metals and let's select copper this time and change the stage, update it. And you can define the color here too if you wanted to. For example, for copper, I can change the color maybe to, I don't know, let's say something like Maybe this would be close and I can convert it to advanced. Now we have our copper material and we can change this 
uh, values if you want let's just maybe make this one a bit more saturated something like this and let's make this one there we go so that's our copper if I wanted to make it rougher I simply can go ahead and increase my roughness value let's go to 15 and here we have a rough copper material there we go and I still if I wanted to add some sort of scratches I can use my bump value so let me just go ahead and decrease this value and let's use our global map to add some scratches to the surface here so let's use this texture I'm just going to click OK OK let's increase this value to something like maybe 2 and as you can see we have introduced some sort of scratches and uh, irregularity to our surface let's go to about 1 there we go I'm just going to change these colors also make them a bit more saturated and let's see let's save it and apply to our object here change the UV mapping to cubic and let's start fire so there we go here is our copper material and if you wanted to, uh, to create a very specific type of copper we can go ahead and have a reference image and take a look at it and get the colors right and make sure our material is going to look realistic here we're just going to use some uh, approaches some uh, way to uh, create metals and hopefully uh, we are going to have a course in which we go very specific and in depth about creating uh, realistic metals and always remember you have your Maxwell gallery you can go ahead and download different types of uh, metals that uh, it has been uploaded there and uh, download them and take a look at how uh, they created it so see you in the next lesson thanks for watching this video tutorial it was a free sample from our course comprehensive introduction to Maxwell render for cinema 4d make sure to visit our website mographplus.com and check the entire course out See you in the next one.